Hello everyone, my name is Akshay and I'll be doing a Khan Academy talent search video. So just few things about me. I'm a programmer, more specifically a competitive programmer. I solve problems like on Hacker Earth, Hacker Rank, Code Forces, Code Chef, etc. So that's it. Now let's get the formalities because I have only 10 minutes to do this video. So, so today. We will be solving um, the N, the famous N Queens problem. The N Queens problem. Okay, so this was a famous puzzle where you have like you have. Okay, let's see the problem statement here. So you have a, an N cross N chessboard, N cross N board, A R D, and you have to place <coughs> you have to place N Queens on it. such a way that they they all the end queens are in a non attacking uh, position so non a t t a c k i n g e o position <coughs> so what do you mean by non attacking position so when when i when I, what i mean by non attacking position is so we can we can imagine uh, the, the all the end queens now, uh, as uh, as on, as in different different teams, all the end queens are their own independent teams. They play. They don't play for black or white. They play for their own team. So here, when you, know, I mean, those who play chess know, I mean, that the queen can attack diagonally, horizontally, and vertically. So if a queen is like here, you can attack in all directions. And this, okay. <coughs> So, two queens it should not be in the same diagonal, same row, or same uh, column. So, uh, that's pretty much what you mean by non attacking position. You can imagine these end queens as their own team, as they I mean, doing the same thing. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. So, we can solve this by using something called backtracking. US, I, US, ING, I, and yeah. Using backtracking. Back, see, using backtracking. So this is this is the algorithm that's used in many various, uh, <coughs> sorry, many various like algorithms such as n queens and many other stuff like maze solving and puzzle solving. Lots lots of different different things. It's actually a brute force method. Considered as a brute force. So those of you who know what's brute force, it's basically trying out every single combination and every single solution and checking if the if I mean if it I mean every single possible combination and checking if it's a solution. <coughs> so what is backtracking? Okay, so I'm gonna go into what backtracking is. <coughs> I'm using some my iPad and my sketch pad, so it's pretty primitive. Okay, I need to remember to use colors, keep forgetting this. Okay, so uh, what is backtracking? I can have a color palette here. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so what is backtracking? Okay, so let's say you you have you have a maze. You're here. Okay, no, that's too far. Okay, you have, I know it's too big. Okay, here, and you have a maze. For say, you go like this. The maze like this, and pretty much a branching thing like um, yeah some, some simple branches which you're going to look at today <coughs> let's consider as a maze and let this be your finish point and like this blue let this be your finish and let this be your start these are all dead ends no in this they have no mean they're not this is like a dead end <laughs> can't explain a dead end <laughs> so Backtracking. Come back. Come back to backtrack. Okay, so let's say this is a maze. Maze ready. So what you have to do is you have to solve this maze systematically. Okay. So how can we solve it systematically? So you can think of this one. I mean, you can think of it as one way. Like you can go here, go here, go here, and if and if, and this is a dead end, and and if this is a dead end, you come back to the last point where you were. <coughs> 
so basically that is like backtracking so what you do is you start off here you go like this and, and when you see two branches you, you say to yourself um, okay I see two branches so what I'll do is I come back like I mean I go left if it's a dead end I come back and I go right okay so basically what he does is he goes uh, undo so yeah he goes left and again he sees a branch so what he does he go um, he says I go left if it's a dead end I go I mean I come back I go right so he goes he goes left <clears throat> okay so what happens he reaches a dead end this first dead end so what happens as he remembers he says if I if he reaches a dead end he go back to his previous point so he goes back to his previous point that's this so now he goes right <clears throat> he goes right again he reaches a dead end okay so he comes back to his previous point so now he has no more branches left to continue so what he does he goes back to his previous point no um, basically this previous point thing the going back to the previous point is basically backtracking you can say backtracking means going back one step like one step before from where you came or whatever so yeah that's backtracking and uh, so now he says he's gone left and all of these are a dead end this whole this whole branch this whole left branch is a dead end so what he does he goes right and again same thing happens he goes here he's like I go left I, if it's a dead end I come back so why does he goes left it's a dead end and he comes back and then he goes right and then he finally reaches his destination <coughs> right so basically this is uh, a simple way of explaining backtracking this is more of the essence of backtracking and this is how like you can imagine the model or concept of backtracking one sec my phone is ringing all right sorry for that uh, it's a call from a friend <laughs> okay so what are we saying backtracking yeah so yeah yeah so this maze like how, how I solve this maze is I use backtracking like uh, if I if you ever reach a dead end you come back uh, to the to the previous point that you were and if that also is dead end you go back to the start I mean the previous point that you came from that point uh, I mean that's kind of confusing but you got the point right yeah so this is pretty much the essence of backtracking and now let's see how we can use backtracking um, in solving n queen's problem <clears throat>